Okay, here's another DIY combat robotics and learning stuff. Transmitters, these can be fun to get your head around. So this is the FlySky FSI6, highly recommended because it just does everything and it's not expensive. So when you purchase this you will get a lovely transmitter and a lovely receiver. Now these will automatically be uh, programmed to each other. You can purchase more of these and you will have to bind these to that so this can so if you want more than one robot this is a good one and you buy more of these which go in your robot and you can bind them to the same controller. Now, uh, shut up. Let's switch that off before it starts bleeping at me. Which now causes a disc inside the robot. So, right. Uh, so, right, with these, that is channel one. That is channel two. Now, obviously, we with our robots, we have it on single stick drive. This is what it's all about, all that mixing stuff. So we want that for the robot to go forwards, which means this motor to spin forwards or clockwise and this motor to spin anti-clockwise. Now when you first plug it, it all in, switch you on, right, I'll stop the disco. So I pull forward on that and just one wheel turns, he says, there we go. Because I'm only sending the signal to channel 1, which is this robot side. I want to do the other side, left and right. Only that wheel spins. Only that wheel spins because I'm only sending the signal to channel 2, which is telling only that motor to spin. This is obviously where the fun we have of the mixing. Now, that is your main menu when you switch it on. Now, there are loads of ways to do this, but mine seems to be really easy. And oh, Come on. Yeah, press and hold OK. Go to Functions Setup. OK. Uh, reverse, we'll get to that in a minute. Just down, 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 down to Avalon. Avalon. Whatever the hell that says. OK, Avalon off, and you want to switch it to on, so on, I can't remember what these were set at originally, but offset to 100% each, it might be 50%, but if they're 100% leave them on 100%, but whatever, and then obviously make sure it's equal to that, press and hold, cancel, now, uh, cancel again, Cancel again, so you see that main screen. Now, when I push up on the stick, backwards, I'm going to do left and right, it'll spin different ways. So, other things you may have issues with, so after that is the basic mixing done. You can have issues where you push up and they turn alternate directions, left and right, and they spin the same direction. This is where sort of trial and error. Um, one of the things, first things to do is swap over the channels one and two in there. So obviously channel one and two is your speed controllers. You swap them over. That may resolve the issue. If that doesn't, there's another thing you can try. So again, back to the menu. Uh, press and hold OK. Function setup, OK, and they've got a reverse, so OK. And you can reverse channel 1 and 2. You can try to reverse channel all of them actually. So, so slot you want, OK, moves to the next channel, up or down. When, you're, when you've done that, again, press and hold cancel. Cancel, cancel. Now, those sharp eyed people now realise that these will be the opposite. So, forward is now backwards for me. And that's, so that is now wrong for me, but I can quite easily change it back. Um, so, it's, that's combined with the receiver swapping the channel 1 2 will fix, should fix the issue.
I would say as easy as that, but it takes a lot of learning to finding that out. Um, another cool thing is obviously when you have multiple. So I'm quite laser beam, so I've just laser. Uh, hard okay. Functions. No, not functions. System setup. <laughs> yeah, model select. This is where you can select your different um, robots that you. To do please to. Oh, okay, so it's asking me to just remove the link. Never do, never do this when the robot's active because obviously it messes things up. So, model select. And then scroll up and down. You've got the different. Oh, wait. So this is bound to a laser beam. Firebolt and Pandas, this is Ollie's uh, transmitter. So, go Panda, press and hold cancel. Cancel, cancel. And you now see it says Panda instead of Laser. So, when now we put the link into Panda, it's all work. Again, press and hold cancel to confirm back to the laser. When you want to change your name, mod, model name, and then it's up and down with these, OK to select the, the correct character. Then once you've finished entering the, the name that you want, again, it's press and hold cancel. That is the sort of confirm. Uh, other bits which I've never played with, no idea. Uh, so once all that's done, it's... There's no real reason to go into all that, really. If you want to, feel free. So, uh, when binding a new receiver, uh, so I will quickly show you this. Obviously, you need a second receiver, which is one of these. That will come with a loopy thing, which I may have. Yeah, one of, one of these things. It's a bind plug. So I'm not going to actually do it, but I'll show you the process. Make sure there are no other connectors in your receiver. Plug that into... I don't think it matters which one, actually, to be fair. Some will actually say, you know, bind or whatever, but I think any... It matter, doesn't matter. So plug that in. Um, this does need power. So you will need to hook up to, to a battery and a single speed controller. So obviously make sure make sure it's the one with the power cable on because obviously you don't want multiple BECs powering your receiver. Make sure it's only one. So just make sure it's only that one. And get power. And so with that in and the bind plug in. Obviously, make sure it's all switched on. You switch on the power while pressing and holding the bind key. So, does that make sense? So, press and hold the bind key, switch it on. It will then do blah, 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 and then bind OK. Should, <laughs> in theory. Obviously, it's worked for me in the past, so. It's easy as that, he says. <laughs> Just uh, watch the video and realise I didn't quite make the binding process 100% clear. Right. You've obviously bought a second re uh, receiver, so when you go into, when you want to begin the process, you want to uh, select model select. Obviously, I already have three bound. To this one here. So if I was to do this process right now, I would go to a unbinded model number, press and hold cancel, 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 and it's obviously Fly Sky 4 now. Switch it off, then make sure this has power with the bind key, that thing, yeah, and then press and hold the bind key, switch it on. Sorry, I missed out that process then. Because then it will bind to the whichever model you've selected 
if you did it over one that already had a model on it. So if I was to do it on that one, the old one would be effectively forgotten about and then the new one will be bound to, the, to that model number on there. So yeah, just make sure you put it onto a new model on that before you do that. Cool. Right. Cool. Easy. Bye-bye.